that's don't know. How do you keep a don't know mind? That's don't know. You don't know. <laughs> that's don't know. <laughs> All you can do is try. Yeah, you can ask, you know, you're laying down in your room. Yeah, I used to hate the brakes more than anything. <laughs> One way is I'd fill them up with bowing. I'd come up to the room and do, I would do a lot of extra bowing. Bowing is great because it takes away body karma. It can really help with anger, although it can, you know, it can make your eyes stronger too. It can help, it takes away lazy mind. and. Just being able to do it can give you confidence, you know. So I did a lot of extra practice. You know, I would go at this other temple to the, the smallest hall, which uh, was, uh, it wasn't the mountain god like ours, but it was a very small hall. And I chant there for an hour after lunch every day. And it was so interesting. It was a very small building, and there were three altars in there. And, you know, I'd light the candles and I'd chant Quantum Bosa, you know, uh, Thousand Allies and Hand Sutras, Quantum Bosa chanting. And sometimes I liked it and sometimes I didn't like it and it was cold and stuff. And one day, after about two months, I look at the painting and I realize it's splashed all over with dried wax. And it's one meter in front of me and I haven't seen the dried wax on it the whole two months. <laughs> Just think what that means for you, what you haven't seen about yourself and other people, you know? So that was one thing. I did practice. I did something. Other way is uh, just keep asking yourself, what am I doing right now? Laying here thinking about how do I keep don't know mine, you know? <laughs> Laying here thinking about what the hell did I do come here for, you know? You can ask yourself, what am I doing right now? When you do walking meditation, feel the bottom of your foot touch the ground. You know when they say his mind opened and he could see and hear, they mean it. Nowadays, we don't use our eyes, really. We don't really use our ears. We don't hear, you know, what many think. We don't hear well. We don't feel. We're so quick into our opinion. I like this. I don't like this. You know, Ibsungsenim, he's a nice guy, but, you know, I think he's late with the chukti sometimes, <laughs> you know, or something like that. Very quickly, some opinion appears. You know, I don't know this person, but I don't like them, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, ask yourself, what am I doing right now? That is always helpful to bring you back to, that's a don't know mind right there. One day a few years ago, I came up for evening sitting here and it was heyday, it wasn't retreat. And I sat down and suddenly this thought came into my head, how do you do sitting practice? It's like, I've been living in the Zen center 35 years, I'm a Zen master, but how do you do sitting meditation? And then I thought to myself, you don't know. That's our practice. <laughs> and the thinking just disappeared, and I just sat there not knowing how to do it. So I just paid attention to my breathing, which is how to do it. <laughs> you know? So actually, a lot of these things, it turns out to be pretty funny. In my experience, it's either big suffering, doesn't matter, or it's pretty damn funny, you know, when you begin to see how your mind makes you know, when you're suffering and you haven't really sc sc scratched away at it and melted it, it's just terrible. But later, it's kind of funny. If you keep going. <laughs> Other questions? So be aware, three closures, you know. Any desire with your body, just think, I'm a dead person. Dead person don't have desire. So just bring this dead body up here and sit. Bring it over to chanting. You know, take it to bowing. You know, you really see that you can move this body even if, uh, you know, it's, 
it's assaulting you with all these desires. Also, watch your mouth. You know, giving other people your opinion is not so great. Well, think of that uh, old man in the story. He didn't say, oh, these people are really good, these people are really bad. That would be his opinion. He, said, he's, he asked them, what are the people like in your city? Then he saw this person's mind and character. Oh, you, you know, you're going to be careful. You're going to find a lot of angry people fighting over there. The other person, oh, you'll, you'll make a lot of friends. So it doesn't matter what our karma is. Everybody has some good karma. Everybody has some bad karma. Okay, everybody has some karma where uh, they really do something decent for others. Mm -hmm. And everybody has some karma where they make themselves and they make others. Everybody does. Buddha did too. He knew that. So he knew what he had to do. And who knows? You know, I wrote a poem once, but whenever I write poems, I throw them away like a week, a month, or sometime later. But this one I always remember. And basically, it's about Buddha sitting for six years and not getting enlightenment. And, you know, in English, we call that, he, he would be called a deadbeat dad. A deadbeat dad is a father who leaves his kids and never helps them. You know, everybody said, oh, Buddha got enlightenment. He went back and he made his son a monk and he gave his son enlightenment, you know. But if he didn't get enlightenment, he's just a jerk who left his wife and kid. <laughs> 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 Maybe he even thought that for a while before. Shit, it's been five years. Everything sucks and she probably got a new husband by now. Damn, my kid will hate me. He doesn't know me. My father already hates me. I f up. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but he kept trying. <laughs> so good for him. So try, try, try. Okay. Uh, really try to uh, just try. And then the suffering also will later become gold. It'll later become your treasure be if you keep trying because eventually you'll, you'll burn it up. And uh, you know, then someday we can be like that old man and we can give, uh, we can know really how things work and uh, do things and say things that help others. I was thinking about this speech because you know what we, we say every morning? You know, we don't know the meaning, most of it, but it's an amazing way to use your tongue. You know, first thing in the morning, Sentient beings are numberless. I vow to save them all. That's our direction, you know. Uh, delusions are endless. I vow to cut through them all. That means everything's originally empty. Doesn't mean it's not here causing problems and making us suffer or making us too delighted for our own good. It just means originally it has no substance. So it can be cut through, you know. Uh, uh, the teachings are infinite. We vow to learn them all. That doesn't mean reading all the sutras. It means every moment has a wonderful, beautiful teaching for us. So it just means pay attention moment to moment. Then you're always learning. So I thought Santanin was the best learner in our school. So he was called Zen master, you know. Then, uh, what's the last one? The Buddha way is inconceivable. I vow to attain it. That means only go straight, don't know. Okay? Because that is the Buddha way. Uh, with the intention to, not just for myself. Okay? So, and also the next thing we say is, may the sweet scent <laughs> of our keeping the precepts of our meditation, of our wisdom, of our liberation, and of the knowledge of our liberation, may all this form a bright, shining, cloud-like pavilion, you know, to keep us out of the rain, the, dharma, uh, the karma rain, and may it pervade the whole universe, and, then, and thus do homage to the countless Buddhas, Dharmas, and Sanghas in all the 10 directions. It's basically just saying thank you to the whole universe, you know, for taking care of me. And, you know, what, think about what many people say when they wake up in the morning, you know. 
get my fucking breakfast. <laughs> 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 or Musang sauce full of shit, you know, especially the kitchen master and the Zen master, you know. So some of the other people are okay, but they have no power. You know, what do you say? <laughs> Watch your mouth, you know? See what kind of, you know, dharma you're spreading around. So if you shut up, you'll hear it, you know? And, uh, and then one day, if you'll change it into mantra or uh, something nice. And, you know, like, I'm sorry, I don't speak French, but uh, 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 what is this? <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, try. Most important is just try, 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 okay? Return here, center becomes strong, and digest, burn up all our karma, and then become clear, and uh, get all the beneficial things we get, and share it with others, okay? So let's just do it, thank you.